This morning, Dallas police are still looking for the third person involved in yesterday's stolen vehicle chase. During the chase, DPT decided to follow the suspects from the air and not on the ground. Kennedy Walker joins us live. And Kennedy, explain why officers chose that route of pursuit. Hey, good morning, Keith. Yeah, officers from the beginning said that they were putting the community safety um, first. So that is why they decided to not pursue those suspects by car, but instead by helicopter. This morning, we did reach out to the Dallas Police Department, and we are waiting to hear more information about that third suspect that is still at large. Take a look at this dangerous scene Dallas police officers had to deal with Wednesday afternoon. Police say three people stole a vehicle in Oak Cliff. That led to a wild scene on I-20 where the pickup driver headed straight into oncoming traffic along the busy freeway. At one point, the stolen truck appeared to spin out and the suspects got into another stolen pickup that was following them. The hour-long chase ended when the suspects eventually drove into a wooded area near Seagoville. They abandoned the vehicle and ran away. Two were quickly captured. DPD's policy only allows high-speed pursuits of felony suspects, so they followed the suspects from the air. Randy Sutton is a retired police officer. He says the department's decision potentially saves civilians from getting hurt. Law enforcement pursuits are one of the most hazardous, dangerous situations that a police officer can be involved in. If a police patrol car had become involved in this and this involved a, a legitimate pursuit, then this could have ended in, uh, in, in a number of different ways which includes the crashing of either the suspect vehicle or the police vehicle or both. Now, luckily, no one was hurt. Uh, those suspects whose names have not been released, they are facing multiple charges, including aggravated assault of a public servant. Reporting live in Dallas, Kennedy Walker, CBS 11 News. Safety first, Kennedy. Public safety first.